Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video I'm going to explain the grid pane container in JavaFX. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay, we're talking about the grid pane today. Grid panes are found underneath the container's drop-down menu. It's a flexible grid of rows and columns to arrange different nodes. So we have two columns and three rows to begin with. If you were to right-click on grid pane, then go to grid pane, we can add rows and columns. Let's say that I would like to create a game of tic-tac-toe and I need three rows and three columns. So I will add a column. I now have three rows and three columns. So we can drag and drop nodes into each individual region. So let's say we have a button. Now the default for adding nodes is that these nodes will stick to the middle left, but we can change that by going to V alignment and H alignment when you click on one of these nodes. So we can change this to top, center, bottom, left, center, right, wherever you need. Or you can expand these, but they will not expand to take up more room than the grid that they're in, their individual cell. Now by heading to the grid pane constraints region of your layout drop down menu, you can change the index of a node after you click on it. Currently my button is at row zero, column zero, but you can change that. Let's say row one, column zero, row two, column zero, row two, column one, row two, column two. So that would work, or you can drag and drop it to a different cell within your grid. Another important note is that if you adjust the dimensions of your grid pane, each cell of your grid pane will adjust as well. I will click on my grid pane, head to layout, and change the dimensions. If I need this grid to be an even square, let's change the width to 500 and the height to 500 as well. So each cell within my grid pane is an even square. And within the properties drop down menu, you can display grid lines between each of these cells by clicking this checkbox, grid lines visible. And if we preview this, we have our button and then grid lines between each of these cells too. So let's copy and paste our node and drag and drop it to each individual cell within our grid pane. I think I'm gonna get rid of these grid lines between each of these cells. Let's preview. And I have a grid of nine cells, each contains a button. So this could work as some sort of framework for tic-tac-toe or maybe even a calculator, but you'd probably need to add more buttons. You can also add a horizontal gap between each of these columns and a vertical gap between each row. Click on your grid pane, then head to layout, and we will change the H gap. So if you type in a number, you will add that amount of pixels as space between each column with an H gap and then vcap will add a vertical gap between each of these rows. And it looks a little something like this. All right, everybody, so that is a grid pane. It's a flexible grid of rows and columns in which we can lay out nodes. If you found this video helpful, please remember to smash that like button, drop a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.